Hello everyone, and welcome back to episode 3 of the Link to the Past randomizer run. Um, back after a little bit of wandering and realizing I forgot to hit record, so I just came back to the same area, didn't really get too far, but um, I messed with the audio for this one, so hopefully the voice quality, uh, at least the, uh, the mixer levels, the sound for it, should be a little more recognizable without being, like, overbearing. I went over the previous recordings, and it was just a tad light for me, um, but let me know what you guys think, and I'm kind of be kind of be playing with it over the next couple episodes. I'll always make sure it's at least audible, but I kind of want to hit that sweet spot where you get enough of the game music and enough of my voice without either being super overbearing. Um, but part of getting a new recording software up and running, I'm sure we'll have it all ironed out in the next couple episodes or two, just bear with me. We are going to go straight for the second dungeon in the desert and see if we can't actually make progress in that one, or at least get some items. If not, we're going to have a hell of a time. This is, uh, beginning to show me that I may have been a little bit too, um, confident in the beginning. <laughs> that fancy items, as lovely as they are, don't mean shit if you don't have enough keys to get through the dungeon. So, uh, we'll, we'll just hope that oof, we hit a point where we can, uh, get through the rest of it. Alright, come on. I think this dungeon has, like, that many chests. I'm hoping, I'm hoping and praying that we get the big key. Because there is the big chest that we... That we normally get the, uh, the power gloves from. And we didn't, so I'm hoping there's something useful in there. Time will tell, but, uh, maybe it's just my wishful thinking. This is a switch. Okay, cool. Wow, 300 rupees. I mean, I, I'm scoffing, but that will come slightly in handy. I just need, like, actually useful shit. As awful as that is to say. And I don't have the Pegasus boots, so I can't get that one key. That's gonna be a problem. I may have not thought this through. Let's go check the other room, see if there's nothing else I can get. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully there's something that will allow me to progress. I think this was like a compass in here or some shit. Maybe it was just a room to spite me for being arrogant. Helpful? If I remember correctly. No, it's the other one that leads out that I can go around and get the heart piece for. I'm assuming it's a heart piece. Maybe that's something useful. Let's go check there. Because I don't believe that takes a key to get out of, it just takes the mitts to get further into the dungeon. So, worst case, I'll do the second half of the dungeon, see if we can't get anything good to spawn from there that we need to come back and complete. Even if it's like a key, I can make my way back and hopefully get the big key for it. Um, we'll find out. It's going to be unique. This, this whole process, it's like flipping the entire way I've like normally cleared these dungeons in succession on its head. Which is like good. It's a good thing. It's unique. It's just different getting like halfway through a dungeon and going, oh, can't do that, gotta leave, gotta go somewhere else, and maybe I can come back and clear it later. Oh, 
Oh, hey, full container. Sure, cool. I could leave and go back with that, but then I wouldn't be able to progress through the rest of this ever. And I'm hoping there's a chest or two that I've forgotten about that will maybe spawn me the shit I need. I'm not just being dumb and doing this dungeon in a way that is going to make it completely unbeatable. Because I know there's one more key up here. Start heading up to Death Mountain and come up down chest there before I come back. Which I didn't want to do. I didn't want the game to just turn into a navigable fetch quest, but um looking like it might. Okay, um, so second dungeon's the bust. <laughs> we're, we're on a great track record with items and an even better track record with the dungeons. Um, so now it's, it's kind of off to see what the hell we can do about that. Death Mountain's got so many fucking chests in it. I'm just hoping I have the items to get through certain areas. It's been a bit. I think it's only in like the dark world that a lot of the quick shot puzzles come in. I know there's the one area that requires the cape, um, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get that just yet. At least I can't think of any other like... I might go check the Zora King real quick. See what I can get from him. I have enough money for it. I might as well. If it gets me like the Pegasus boots, it's really worth it. Yeah, fuck it. That's where I'm gonna go. So change the plans. Zora King first, and then we'll go do some mountain climbing. before next episode. Sounds like a good idea. Don't really need to do anything here except I, I mean I guess I could fill up potions, but I don't really need them yet, so I'm not gonna I'm gonna make sure that I have enough. I think it's like five hundred rupees, but I don't want to Never mind. We're going to the mountains. And I forgot. What happens? You guys get to take in the beautiful scenery at least. And then we'll make our way, hopefully, to items that will stop leading us to dead ends. I really don't want all my talk in the first couple of episodes about, oh, this is gonna be easy. It's not a problem at all to turn into, uh, I can't beat it. I got four episodes in and I can't beat it. So, 
We'll see. We'll see if I eat my words. I'm hoping no, but <laughs> as my track record would have it, probably gonna. Oh, frankly, the little secret entrance up here is for uh, Pegasus boots. So we just keep going up. more two other things I can do. I'll head up Lost Woods on the way down. I've already committed to this. I'm not gonna keep telling you guys I'm going somewhere and then totally fucking avoid that area. And besides, there's more like density of chests and different items I'm going to need up here anyway, so I might as well begin making my way. Hey, old dude. Come with me. Oh, I wonder what he's gonna give me. I really hope it's actually the mirror. Otherwise, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a bad time if it's like a couple of rupees or some fucking arrows. Like, I might, might throw the controller. You, damn it. Yep. 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 At least it was a lot of rupees. Alright, you dick. Fucking heal me, please. Thank you. Back to your cave. I don't think I can ever use those like the return section. Or I'm wrong. You never know. There's at least something here. That's just a way out to some other area. Alright. Don't think there's a way into any of the good spots from the bottom. I'm just gonna... And that's the exit cave. I've gotta just jump down at one point or another. Yeah, let's try you. catching that, that would be useful. It has been a while since I've gone through these cave systems, so there's going to be a lot of trial and error. I do remember which particular one is for as originally the Cane of Brina, um, but I don't think it's going to be that, and I can't get there even with this many hearts without the cave. It'll kill me. If I had a couple of bottles with some fairies in it, I'd, I'd do it, but ain't gonna work. Now let's try this out. Oh hey, actual piece of heart. Nice. we go on to the next one. Like I said, there's going to be a lot of trial and error on this episode. Um, I believe that is actually where I'm going to call it for this one, though, because we're going on like 17 minutes, and I want to keep it about 15. But I will see you guys on the next episode.